This is a Game Caviar production. Now having in the Game Caviar studios, doing some uh, Saints Row the 4th, actually the Saints Row 4. Uh, excuse me, I've had a couple beer, a couple bottles of beer in, in me, so if I'm stumbling, please excuse the, uh, the, the vocals. Anyway, very fun game. A lot, I've had a lot more fun playing this game than Saints Row the 3rd. Of course, I enjoyed Saints Row the 3rd. If you've seen any of the videos, you understand that. But Saints Row 4 has taken it to another level, man. And you can actually, if you play this game, you can see where they've uh, taken from uh, either movies or other video games and, and things like that. And it's pretty cool the way that they do it. You know, they... they they take things from, like, that was, uh, what was that movie that came out? Uh, I can't even think of the name of the movie. Anyway, uh, let's see. Some of the other things that they've done. Um, on, I read online, and they, somebody was saying that the ship that you're actually on is, like, from Mass Effect. You know, it's kind of saying that, um, you know, they borrowed from that. And uh, without, without the references from other video games and movies... Um, like, for instance, the powers that you get right here are just the same powers that you get from Prototype with the, the jumping up in the air and the, and the gliding and everything and, and being able to run up walls and the the, the, um, the strength that you have. A lot of that comes from Prototype and uh, one, of my, one of my most critically uh, smashed videos was a video where I said Prototype 2 is better than Infamous 2. If you have a chance, check that out. If you have a chance, check that out. And it's pretty crazy. Uh, I've had dislikes on videos before, so it's nothing to me. But that's like the only video that has more dislikes than likes. People really love Infamous. And it shows. Anyway, uh, without the references to movies and video games, this this game right here is really fun. And it's, it is. And what... What it brings to the table is a, a really good game that was, instead of it being a DLC, they made it into a full game. Uh, but uh, the way that they worded it, and from what I gathered, was that the DLC is still going to be released. I think what happened was they were going to make a DLC for Saints Row the Third, but they were like, you know what, screw it, let's just make a whole new game. And you get Saints Row 4, but the DLC that they were making for Saints Row the Third it's still going to be released. Uh, I don't know whether they offer some sort of season pass. I know that's like really popular for games right now. But uh, for those people who want to continue to compare this to Grand Theft Auto, I don't think that it's fair to Saints Row as a franchise. Uh, you know, as weird as that sounds. Because it has really grew so far apart from just a Grand Theft Auto clone. And I've said this before. It's not just some Grand Theft Auto clone. It's it's in its own game, essentially. You know, with its own uh, setup and engine and storyline and everything. You know? So, when you, when you play this game... And I would recommend a lot of people to play this game. Especially... Uh, before Grand Theft Auto 5 comes out because this is a great game and it can hold you over until Grand Theft Auto comes out um, but uh, I would definitely tell people to check out this game give it a fair chance because while Grand Theft Auto is is a great game a wonderful game it is like the king of the open world games you know uh, Saints Row is basically it's in it's in second. I'm not gonna say it's a close second because Grand Theft Auto obviously still blows this game out of out of the water, but it's holding down the second spot and it's become its own entity to where when you play it you're like okay you know this is this is pretty awesome and it's not a really serious game it's not a serious game at all like for god's sakes they have a dubstep gun for for i mean they, and all it does is that you go around and you shoot people with the dubstep gun and if you're not shooting them it makes them dance so you can tell saints row the creators of saints row did a good job of making it a very fun game that has a good storyline but at the same time allows the user to have an immense amount of fun like 
really a lot of fun. When I got the, the dubstep gun, it was like a good 30, 45 minutes of me going around just making people dance. You know, and they have the cricket gun from Men in Black. And they also have the shotgun from No Country from old, for Old Men. You know, where the guy had the shotgun with the silencer on it. They have that gun too. So, like I said, this game is awesome. It's really fun to play. It, it, it takes a lot of elements from popular movies and, and other video games. And incorporates it into this game in a way that allows the user to have fun while working through the storyline and completing the task. So... Check this game out, Saints Row 4. This is on PC, but you can get it on Xbox 360 and PS3. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studios, and I'm out. I'm going back to play more Saints Row 4. Uh, Saints Row 4, not the 4th, but 4. Later. This has been a Game Caviar production. Like this video and subscribe for more.